we're going to be palpating the muscle known as flexor digiti minimi pedis, which is going to be a flexor of our fifth digit here, as it's going to be pulling it into a flex position. We are going to be landmarking another tendon of a muscle crossing like so on the plantar aspect of the foot. This muscle is in the third layer. So what I'm gonna be doing is trying to find its origin and to do so, I'm gonna be finding the outside lateral side of this fifth metatarsal. And as I drop off from that styloid or base of it, this is our cuboid. And the muscle that's running underneath cuboid is known as fibularis longus. So fibularis longus tendon is running across the bottom of the foot towards the direction of the medial cuneiform and base of the first metatarsal. So this is going to be one of its origins as the muscle is basically running from this tendon as well as deep on the plantar aspect of this fifth metatarsal. So here's our two origins and it is going to run down the plantar aspect of the foot and insert into the proximal phalanx. So I'm gonna actively see if he can do that by his own. He's just gonna flex his pinky toe, good, and relax. And let's try that again one more time. So he's able to do that on his own. So let's make it nice and easy. I'm gonna put a little pressure towards that proximal phalanx just past the MTP joint. Go ahead and push down into me, great. And I'm gonna be using a pincher grasp and trying to follow our muscle belly like so. And even a little bit of a cross fiber strum until it crosses this metatarsal phalangeal joint and inserts here on the plantar aspect of that proximal phalanx. So again, quite easy. The tendon of fibularis longus and the base of the fifth metatarsal into the base of the proximal phalanx of the fifth digit, creating flexion of that fifth digit at the metatarsal phalangeal joint. And that's gonna conclude our palpation.